Welcome to this video on how can I speed up my computer. Alright, so in this video, you are going to get seven powerful tips that you are able to speed up the um, speed up your computer and make it run much more faster. Alright, so let's start with the first tip. Alright, before I start, uh, I would like to let you know that all these tips applies to Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Alright, so the first tip is using a software called CCleaner. Well, it is a software that you need to download. Um, what you can do is just go to download.com and search for a software called CCleaner. It stands for Crap Cleaner. All right. It is able to clean up junk files and lots of registry entries that are, uh, and registry errors that is able to help you to uh, make your computer run much more faster. So don't have to worry about um, any problem about, about the software over here because it is uh, it doesn't have any spyware, so you you are safe to download it and uh, use it to clean up files. So once you use um, CCleaner um, to remove all the um, unimportant files, so next you could use um, Remove Visual Effects to speed up your PC. So Removing visual effects is a, is one of my favorite tips because I mention it in almost all of my videos. So visual effects are effects that makes your window um, looks, look nicer by having shadows, animation, fading effects. All right. All these effects um, make it look cool. However, it will actually slow down your uh, PC because um, it will use some processing power. So to remove all these visual effects, what you need to do is just go to um, computer, all right, right click properties, all right. So under properties, search for advanced system settings, all right. So under these tabs, search for advanced settings, all right. So by default, it will be like this. Um, all the box will be ticked because all these are visual effects that makes your windows look nicer. If you want for uh, to get the best performance, choose adjust for best performance and click the apply button. So all right. So once it, uh, once you apply all this, uh, you will see that there's an uh, um, you'll see that your computer will start running faster. All right. So the next tip is cleaning your desktop. All right. When it comes to your desktop, the more files you have on your desktop, the more uh the slower it will your computer will be. All right, especially um if you surf the internet and you have lots of files you download and then you place it on your desktop, you see that there will be around twenty, thirty, or even fifty different files on your desktop. So it will actually make your computer run much slower. To make it run faster, what you could do is create folders. All right, you could tr create two to three folders and categorize all your files into such as business, work, or studies. And you could create an another folder uh, called entertainment or fun. All right. So by organizing all the files into these folders, it is convenient uh, to get all those files, and it will actually help your computer to run faster as well. All right, so um, let's continue with the fourth tips, uh, remove unwanted programs, All right? This includes programs and files as well. So if you have lots of files that you hardly use them or you never use them at all, remember to delete them and empty your recycle bin, All right? So how to remove uh, unwanted programs or softwares from your computer? Well, um, you need to uh, remove it with a uh, program on your control panel. So let's. Uh, I'm going to show you how you could do this. First, click on Start Menu and choose Control Panel, and next, click on Uninstall Programs. All right. So if you are using uh, Windows XP, you the name is called um, Add or Remove Programs. Okay. So you'll see a list of different softwares and programs. Um, that you could uninstall. So just click on the one that you don't want and click on uninstall. And that's all. Another way that you could do is you can sort them by size. So the, just click on it and the 
programs with the highest uh, space will be show on top and you choose the one that um, it is not very useful and just delete it okay so let's continue with the next tip the next tip is this defragment all right this tip um, probably lots of people know how to do this but not many people uh, actually apply this tip by doing this defragment you are able to speed up your computer um, you could actually boost the performance a lot however the problem the reason why most people don't want to do this defragment is because it might take hours um, probably four five hours or even longer so what you could do is you could do this defragment before you sleep and I highly recommend you to do it every week um, or if you are um, too busy you could do this once every two weeks so how to do this just click on start menu choose all programs accessories and choose system tools and choose this defragmenter okay so you see this tool over here um, there are many others um, free software that could do a better job but for now you could just use the windows disk defragmenter so click on analyze this next you do the defragment disk all right this defragment is actually a tool that could organize all your files um, so that it is neat and tidy and it's very easy to access those um, files um, because um, by default um, before you do any defragment um, when you save a file or install any programs um, it is actually scattered around the hard disk so by organizing them um, your computer would actually run faster so the next tip is called is using a tool called PC Speed Doctor it is a free tool that is able to scan your computer to discover different ways that you could actually uh, speed up your computer's performance so to get this tool you could actually go to um, my web my blog over here click on PC Speed, Speed Doctor and you could actually reach here okay so what you need to do is just click on free instance scan and it will be able to scan your computer and suggest you different ways or actually do some uh, configurations to actually help you to increase uh, your computer's speed all right so my blog is over here it is called the best it is called best way to speed to speed up computer.blogspot.com all right if you think that it is too long for you to remember or type it in your bro uh, browser so what you could do is just click on the link below the youtube video and you'll see a link to my blog all right so next you could actually go to uh, overclock your PC so overclock actually means uh, you are going to force your hardware to run faster uh, increase its performance um, most of your hardware are actually uh, working on a very safe level so by increasing uh, it, their speed they will actually uh, they could actually run uh, 50 to 100 percent faster however overclocking your PC will actually generate extra heat it means that it will generate more heat at the same time and uh, it is important to have software to monitor those heat to alert you and to follow proper guides to overclock your PC I highly recommend you to learn from experts who have actually successfully did this and uh, able to help lots of people so if um, so I highly recommend you a book called overclock your CPU <coughs> it is actually um, once you click on this link at my blog you actually reach this page um, it is actually an expert that shows how you could overclock your CPU um, and they actually uh, and it actually he actually helped lots of people to increase the speed of their CPU uh, one of the example he showed is he is able to increase the speed of a CPU from 1.9 gigahertz to 3.5 gigahertz All right this uh, overclocking your CPU is not necessary especially if it's a new uh, computer um, however if it's like one or two years old and you think that you want to save some money from buying new computer new hardware you could actually overclock your CPU uh, and you could overclock your RAM 
and your graphic card as well but make sure uh, you have software to monitor those heat and you have a good cooling system to take away those heat all right so that's all for the seven tips and i thank you uh, if you want to get more tips you could go to my blog at bestwaytospeedupcomputer.blogspot.com all right on my blog i've actually showed lots of tips uh uh, you could actually use uh, to speed up your computer. So uh, thank you for watching